I've done a few reviews on backpacks by this budget-friendly travel brand, Heinzegel. And I have another one to show you today. This is the Heinzegel 2-in-1 combination travel backpack with attachable day pack. Coming up. There are many ways to carry a day pack while traveling. You can pack a small foldable bag in your main backpack, like the Matador Free Rain, or you could just carry a day pack separately on your shoulder. The Heinz Eagle 2-in-1 attempts to solve this problem by attaching the day pack to the outside of the main backpack with this large zipper. I love this idea, but it's not the most aesthetically pleasing solution I've seen for a travel backpack. In this review, I'll start by going over all the features on the travel backpack, and then I'll show you what it looks like with a day pack attached to the back of the bag. The materials are decent for a budget travel backpack instead of the thin polyester that you usually see. The Heinzegel 2-in-1 uses a thick 840 denier nylon fabric. And while water does beat up on the outside of the fabric, it doesn't have sealed seams or waterproof zippers, so it's definitely not a waterproof backpack. The zippers and the hardware and the 2-in-1 are all an off-brand mid-grade quality. The zippers on the main and the laptop compartment are non-locking and equivalent in size to about a YKK number no. 8 zipper. The buckles and adjusters are all plastic. They're not as robust as I've seen on some travel bags, but they're definitely not low quality either. I've been using this bag for about a month and I haven't had any issues with any of the buckles, adjusters, or zippers. This bag doesn't have a lot in the way of security features. There are no lockable zippers on any of the exterior compartments, but you can still lock the zipper pulls together either with a TSA lock or any of these other little carabiners that I've shown you in the past. For the size and dimensions, both bags are designed to be carry-on friendly for a majority of airlines. The travel backpack by itself has the capacity of 38 liters with dimensions of 21.2 in the length, 13.8 on the width, and it's about seven and a half inches deep or 54, 35, 20 centimeters. The day pack is 13.8 inches long, 10.2, and then 3.9 inches wide or 35, 26 by 10 centimeters. When you see that an airline allows for one carry-on bag and a personal item, the backpack is gonna be the carry-on that you store in the overhead, and the day pack is gonna be the small bag that you fit under the seat. You can carry them both around together, the day pack attached to the backpack in the airport, but when you board the plane, you're gonna to have to take the day pack off because the combined depth is too large at about 12 inches. Now looking at the external components on both bags. The travel backpack has three side carry handles, side compression straps, this large front compartment, and this big zipper that goes around the outside for attaching the day pack. This front pocket is pretty large. It opens from the top, and you can see the volume of it sticks out a few inches in front of the pack. It's just one big compartment without any internal pockets or dividers, and it's a good place for storing bulky items like a jacket, or you can fit a pair of shoes in here. This large zipper around the front of the outside is where you attach the day pack. It's a pretty large zipper, equivalent to about a number 10 YKK zipper, and I found it's pretty easy to get this day pack attached to it. The day pack is where you have all of your small item organization. It's about a 10 liter bag. You have this large main compartment with this small tablet sleeve in here, and this front compartment with a smaller zippered pocket, several fabric dividers for your small items, and this little key leash. This works as a way to store your day pack, but there's a few problems with the design. The bottom of the bag is open, so the straps on the day pack are gonna hang down a little bit. And the day pack also covers that exterior pocket on the travel backpack. So if you want to access it, you're gonna have to remove the day pack to get inside of this thing. Now looking at the carry options on the two-in-one, we have backpack straps, hip belts, and then three side carry handles. The backpack straps are made with a breathable foam covered in this thin mesh material. The strap is decently wide, but the padding isn't very thick. They have a sternum strap, adjustable sternum strap, but there's no top load adjusters. The hip belts are also small and thin, made from the same foam as the backpack straps. The back padding is also made from the same breathable air mesh foam, something similar in style to what I see in the Cotopaxi Alpa, but a little bit thinner. The backpack straps and can both go away behind this back foam panel. The shoulder straps detach from the bottom with these plastic buckles, and you can tuck them in from the top. 
Well, the hip belts, you can tuck these in in the foam panel on the bottom of the bag. The padding on the shoulder straps and the hip belts is pretty thin. However, I found this bag to be decently comfortable when I didn't pack it too heavy. However, when you start to fill the bag with a heavy laptop, electronics, or shoes, then these thin straps can start to become a little bit uncomfortable. Now this is the two-in-one fully packed out with this 10 liter day pack attached to the back of the bag. It's not a good idea to put a lot of weight in here if you're carrying it like this because it's gonna throw off your weight distribution and it's gonna start to get pretty uncomfortable if you carry it this way for too long. I also don't really like the look of the backpack with the day pack attached. I felt kind of silly walking around the airport with this thing hanging off the back of my backpack. And honestly, I ended up just taking this thing off and carrying it around separately. Or if you don't have a pack too full, you can stuff it inside the front compartment on the backpack. And as far as just wearing the day pack, this thing is okay to wear. It doesn't have the most comfortable backpack straps, but because it's only 10 liters, you can't fit too much in here anyway. I don't really like the way that it looks on me. I think it kind of looks like one of those little tiny Fial Robin backpacks. Now looking at the interior components and design, the two-in-one opens from the top and lies flat like a suitcase. Inside, there's one large main compartment for storing your clothes and this lid with a zippered mesh pocket. There's also a divider with two mesh pockets inside the main compartment. I think it's intended to be for interior compression, but I found the straps to be a little bit too long. It will compress your clothes a little bit, but it only works if you have the main compartment overstuffed. But if you don't want to use it, you can just detach this divider. The setup and packing style on the inside of the bag reminds me a lot of the Osprey Farpoint. This main zipper doesn't quite go down to the bottom of the bag, so you have to stuff your clothes or the packing cubes down there to fill the space. I have a set of these Heinz Eagle packing cubes that are sold as a set with this pack. I would definitely recommend getting them if you buy the two-in-one because they work well for organizing your clothes and they only add about $10 to the price with these three cubes and a shoe bag. Now looking at the laptop compartment, it's located on the back of the bag behind the backpack straps and it has this top opening access zipper. Inside are two padded sleeves. This big one will fit up to a 17 inch laptop as well as this smaller tablet sleeve here. And then this small little pocket here for smaller electronics. The laptop sleeve is decently padded and you can see it's sewn away from the edges of the bag and the side. And then it has a false bottom, which keeps your laptop protected, keeps it away from the bottom and the sides of the bag. In summary, I still think Heinz Eagle makes a decent budget travel backpack. The two-in-one uses a thick nylon fabric. It's well-constructed, has good interior organization, and a large front pocket. However, you're missing out on some features that come with more expensive packs, like YKK zippers, better waterproofing, and thick molded foam shoulder straps. I think Heinz Eagle did a good job with the backpack part of the two-in-one, but I don't like the attached day pack, and I don't like how it looks when it's combined with a backpack. And it throws off your weight distribution, having weight that far from your back. In practice, I found myself either storing the day pack inside the backpack or just carrying it separately. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions about the Heinz Eagle 2-in-1 travel backpack, then let me know and I'll be happy to answer any questions in the comments below. And again, if you like videos like this, then please subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.